Hello, everyone. It's been almost one week since my last video on the Google Core update of 2023 this March. And I wanted to update everyone because I'm getting a ton of messages asking me, where are we at? Where's the countdown? And what can you expect? So let's just dive right in. So this is a current site, one of the sites that I'm tracking that is currently being negatively affected by the March 2023 core update. Now on the chart, you can see we have not had any swings up in traffic or down in traffic. And that would be an indicator to me that we're moving out of the fluctuating period. Within Google Search Console, we are two days delayed on information. So this is a snapshot of two days ago of this website being negatively affected. The update rolled out on March 15th and Google let us know that it was 13 days and seven hours long. The rollout was actually completed on March 28th. But what does that actually mean to sites? That's what I've been discussing in these videos. If you missed the first video, go check it out after this video. So typically I would see fluctuations for another two weeks after the announcement has been made that the rollout is complete. We still have a few weeks of fluctuations once they make that final announcement. Now, I had the privilege of attending another SEO YouTube channel and talking about the data that I've collected here and shown you on my channel. And the owner of the channel, his name is Ted Kubias or Kubatis, I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, but when I presented for his channel, he actually added some slides to correlate with the story that I'm giving you here and showing you with my data. And he had some data to show from his tools that he has personally programmed. And I wanted to show it to you here. So this is a slide that was provided by Ted. This is not my data, this is his data. And he was actually developing a tool that would show us when the updates were going to happen and then when the updates actually ended. Now, what's interesting to see is that this was the November core update of 2021 and his software tracked it to be 53 days long that the website actually saw fluctuations. That's 53 days long, guys. So a website would show fluctuations from November 1st through 2021 through December 24th, 2021. So the charts that I've shown you of the websites being negatively affected, these would have been negatively affected for 53 straight days. Now, this was a quote from Ted. He said, for years, we have seen these core update timeframes, typically around four weeks, but occasionally as many as eight weeks long. Ted also provided this screenshot or slide. This is not my data. This is his, again, from his tools. And he was showing us that the May core update ended at 33 days long in 2020. So a website would have shown fluctuations or being negatively affected from April 5th through April 9th, and that's 33 days. He also provided a January core update for 2020, and it showed fluctuations and ended at 27 days long. Now, the data that Ted has collected with his software, he's collected many years longer than I've collected, but it correlated with my dates of saying these are anywhere from 27 past 35 days long, depending on the rollout. So sites like this one that are being negatively affected, it's not negatively affected from the time the date starts and then the 13 days, right? Google gives us a time frame of 13 days and seven hours. That doesn't mean after 13 days and seven hours, your site pops back up. This is very important to understand because this will affect the timelines that you give your clients when you're trying to repair their site or trying to recover their site. And often SEOs are fired over timelines when the website doesn't pop back in. However, working on this particular website during a time of fluctuation 
you're not going to see huge gains until we come out of this period. There's actually more data than what I have presented here. Now, the data that I show are websites that I'm currently tracking. However, I have a friend in the industry that has even more data than this that will help us predict a date as to when we will see sites being negatively affected either come out of this or get worse, meaning you need to recover the site. So with my data, I can only estimate that once the announcement has been made, we still have another two weeks. However, that can actually be longer than what I'm estimating and even 53 days long if there are problems with the current rollout. And in the next video, what I'd like to present to you is not only my data, but the rollouts that are currently happening and the rollbacks that will more accurately predict a date. So for today, your site is still fluctuating. We have not come out of the fluctuating period at this moment. I have not seen any signs in ranking or in traffic to show us that we're coming out of this. However, to make an even better prediction of a date, I need a little bit more data from a friend of mine that I mentioned. I'm asking her to supply it now. However, she has a very busy schedule and is trying to get the information to me so that she can present as well and we can give a final prediction of when this particular Google Core update will end, not just end in the actual rollout, but when your site will either improve or completely begin to flatline and you know the recovery work can get started. Now, one more topic is what can you do to sites while they're going through the fluctuating period? You can still do work on the site. You can still move forward with new content, new ideas, keyword research. There's a lot of work that can be done. In the next video, I will bring forward the rest of the data that I'm talking about today with a better and even more accurate prediction of when your site will come out of this fluctuating period. I wish I had better news, but until I do, I'll see you guys in the next video.